Hey, what's going on guys? Kel Mark with TheEasiestBusiness.com. Don't forget my course on blueprint reading for painters is live right now on sale for $9.99. It's the pre-sale. The course launches live June 15th. Up until June 15th, you have about 22, 23 more days. So that's going to be $9.99 for 22, 23 more days, a couple of more weeks. And then after that, it's going to go to $1,500 and it will not come off the $1,500 price. I know the value that's in this course. I know it'll help you take your business and help you scale it from just residential to commercial if you live in an area uh, near a big city where you get a lot of opportunity to big commercial. So go buy that now. Don't wait till the 15th. It will be uh, $500 more. So go ahead and do that and let's get right into the video. All right, guys, I'm starting over from the very beginning. One of my first videos I ever made was how to calculate your price per square foot uh, for walls or ceilings or anything like that, really, to be honest, uh, on commercial paint jobs. And I got a lot of traction on that video, but I didn't really like the way I presented it. So let's go back and revisit it uh, today. So if you already know how to do this, skip this. If you've seen the other video, you can skip this. But I'm going to break this down into what I think are the most simple terms, uh, you know, the, the lowest denominator, if you will, uh, on how to do this. So I'm breaking this down, hopefully to a third, fifth grade level where everybody can understand it and I make it very clear. So let's just get right into it and we'll make this real quick. So uh, we have two categories here. We got cost and we got charge. This is what you're gonna charge. This is what it actually costs you. This is not including any overhead like uh, paying receptionists, paying insurance, etc. This is strictly on labor and material, paint, how much it costs you to buy the paint, how much you should charge for the paint, uh, how much it costs you to paint the wall, how much you should charge to paint the wall combined into one number. So how much does it cost you? So your cost is basically going to equal um, your labor rate or, or what you're paying um, versus time. Not versus time, but combined with time. So if you're paying a guy $25 an hour, let's say a regular bedroom here. Um, let's just pretend like this is an office and a commercial build out, right? Let's say it's 400 square feet. Um, we're going to base everything off of 400 square feet and it's raining outside. Sorry if you can hear that, but let's say it costs you $25 for a man hour. $25 for a man hour and it takes him three hours to paint this room two coats. Hour and a half on the first coat, hour and a half on the second coat. It's a repaint, right? So you're going to multiply these two numbers together you're gonna get $75. It costs you $75 is what it costs you for a man, a man to paint this room. It's what it costs you. You have to pay him $75. He puts two coats on the walls. It costs you $75 to get that labor. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna break out your handy dandy calculator here. You're gonna take your square footage, right? And you're gonna divide it into that 75. So you're gonna do 75 divided by 400 is going to get you that's 400 square feet that's your room size this is your this is your labor cost so 75 divided by 400 it's going to give you a decimal that's 1875.1875 so that's how much it's going to cost you per square foot on labor on those walls for a 400 square foot room so you're here you can just round up so it's going to cost you 19 cents per square foot to have that guy paint that room. Just labor. That's just labor cost and that's just cost. That's no profit. Now, let's go to material. I don't really have enough room here because my whiteboard's not big enough, but let's go to material. So let's say you have um, material. Let's go to material. So let's say it's 400 square feet. Let's say the can of Promore 200, Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec 500, whatever you're using, let's say the can says that you can do 300 square feet to a gallon. I like to round down at least 50 square foot because you got some waste, uh, you know, you might have a little spill here and there. You, you shouldn't, but you may, uh, depending on how your guys work, how clean they are. A little bit left in the brush, a little bit left in the bottom of the can, just go down 50 square feet. So if it says 300, you take 50 off that, you're at 250 a gallon. Well. If, if it takes uh, 400 square feet is the surface area of all the walls in the room, well, 400 divided by 250, which is your coverage rate, so you want to take your square footage, uh, 400 square foot, you want to divide it by your coverage rate, which is 250 coverage 
rate. So 400 divided by 250 is 1.6. So you're gonna get 1.6, that's 1.6 gallons. But you gotta remember 400 square feet, that's one coat. You gotta double that. So you wanna take your 1.6 gallons, times that by two, you got 3.2 gallons. Since you can't really buy 3.2 gallons, I'm not dealing with quartz over here. You wanna round up. So 3.2, you wanna round up to four. You're gonna need four gallons to paint this room. So once you get your four gallons, let's say you get your four gallons at $30 a gallon times CPG cost per gallon at $30 a gallon. You're looking at what? $120. Four times 30, $120. So once you get that $120, you wanna divide that $120 by your 400 square foot of your room as well. So 400 into 120, so 120 divided by 400 is 30 cents. 30 cents a foot in material and you're actually 19 cents a foot on labor equals material cost. Remember, this is all still cost. So you're looking at point and you wanna add these two numbers together. That's gonna give you 49 cents. 49 cents cost per square foot. 49 cents is what it's gonna cost you per square foot if you're paying your guy 19 cents a square foot uh, to paint the room and then you're paying 30 cents a foot in material. So that's $25 a man hour and $30 a gallon. Your cost directly to you, what you're gonna have to pay is 49 cents a square foot on walls only. And this would include ceilings too, if they could do it in the same amount of time, this would include ceilings or sealed concrete floors, any flat surfaces like this. This doesn't include any doors, trim, anything like that. So you're at 49 cents. Well, if you're at 49 cents, what should you charge? A lot of people in residential paint will tell you that 50% margins uh, is a good thing. So what I do is I go to uh, Profit Margin Calculator. It's on calculatorsoup.com. They have a Profit Margin Calculator. So if it's going to cost you 0.49 cents, then you want to, if you want a 50% profit margin, you need to at least double that. So what's 0.49 times two? It's what, 98 cents? If you're making 98 cents, If you're making 98 cents, I don't know if you can see that, but if you're making 98 cents, you can't see that. But if you're making 98 cents per square foot, so 49 cents at 50% margins equals 98 cents a square foot is what you need to charge for just walls. But seeing as this is not uh, you know, a residential we're talking about, we're talking about painting. So that might be fine for your residential cost per square foot uh, or, or, or charge per square foot rather. We're talking about commercial. Commercial is a lot more competition, uh, a lot lower cost. You're doing a lot more volume, so you charge a lot less. You ended up making it up in volume, but you're gonna end up charging a lot less. If you go into, I'm telling you, trust me, from my experience, um, I worked for a company, we did $13 million a year. I did over $3 million a year by myself in sales. If you go into a commercial paint job, you may get one every now and then, but you are not gonna hardly land any jobs at 50% margins uh, in the commercial space. Now you may land a couple here and there, but you're not gonna do that volume like you really want to in commercial. So my recommendation is that you shoot for 30, you, you forget about this, you shoot for 33% uh, margins for commercial. 33% margins in commercial is what you want. In other words, if it costs you 0.49 cents to paint this room, you're gonna wanna take that 49 cents, so you're gonna do 0.49, times it by 1.5. That's 0.735. You can round up if you want to, to 0.74. That's what you need to be charging. Instead of 0.98 cents, I know it's a big difference, but I'm telling you that that's a, if you take your cost, multiply it by 1.5, you'll get 33% margins every time. So 0.74 cents per square foot, if these are your costs, is what you need to charge on just walls. 
to get a 33% margin and to be competitive in that space. I know it differs a little bit depending on where you live. If you're in New York City, you may want to raise this to 80, LA 80 maybe. If these are your costs, obviously, you need to put your own numbers in here to get this number. But I'm telling you, you want 33% margins on commercial. Um, if you have 50%, you're really not going to get many jobs on commercial. Trust me, we, we did lots of business and we didn't even have 33% sometimes and they would tell us that we're too high. So you obviously don't want to do jobs for free. You want to make something, but what you lose per job, you make up for in strictly volume. So go to the easiestbusiness.com. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully I broke it down into simplest terms for you guys. If you have any questions for me at all, leave it in the comments below, go to my website, shoot me an email. Uh, on my website, I have a contact form. If you have any questions, give me a call. I believe my phone number is on there as well. Sign up for that course. If you need to know how to bid commercial paint jobs by the blueprints, you don't know how you're missing these opportunities. I'm telling you, sign up for the course. It's going to be great. You're going to get access to me. I'm going to do live bids once a month. We're, we're going to get through it together. I'm available 24 seven. You'll have my cell phone number. Uh, you can text me any questions you have, anything like that. Uh, and, and, and I'll help you scale your business up. So uh, like I said, leave me a like, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Take it easy guys.